Now, the Tanzanian president's speech in parliament was filled with humor and laughter as MPs in the joint sitting tried to keep abreast with Suluhu's speech, which was doled out in pure Kiswahili. Now, Suluhu's choice of examples in her speech showing a sense of humor and regularly sparking laughter among the MPs during the session. Our very own Stephen Leto was there. <laughs> Exactly 2.35 p.m. East African time, Tanzania President Suluhu Hassan's motorcade made its way to Parliament. <laughs> Five minutes behind schedule, President Suluhu quickly gained access to the National Assembly chambers for the joint sitting. Unknown to most of the Kenyan MPs, but perhaps not unexpected, a Swahili class was awaiting them. Their recently launched Kiswahili standing orders of no help here. Nilitoa arifa ya kikao hiki cha pamoja kupitia gazeti rasmi la serikali arifa nambari <laughs> President Suluhu confessing that the Kiswahili the lawmaker spoke was entertaining for her. Na enjoy kile Kiswahili kile. Kiswahili chenu kina vionjo vingi, kuna vionjo vyaki. Ambavo peke yake ni burudani tosha kusikilizi. President Suluhu saying most members of our delegation were rather familiar with Nairobi. Nimebaini kuwa sehemu kubwa ya ujumbe niliyoambatana nao wanajua vichochoro vya Nairobi. Wanajua nyama choma inapatikana wapi. Lakini kutokana na corona hawakuweza kujibamba. Her speech was full of colorful examples, such as the one she used to explain the unbreakable ties between Kenya and Tanzania. Animals are the center of this particular one. Hata wanyama pori wetu, ni ndugu na ni majirani. Kuna wale wanyama pori, wanani wale? Hey, wanakuja kupata mimba Kenya wanazalia Tanzania. Sasa ingekuwa wanyama wana uraia, wangekuwa raia wa wapi? Wakitoka Serengeti wanaingia Masai Mara. Kwa hiyo ni pale pale. Women legislators wrapped up the memorable day in an unforgettable way. They sought a photo opportunity with President Suluhu, first praising her with song and dance and sticking a white ribbon on their chests. This was to color the anticipated photo session that was meant to take place. <laughs> They left the male MPs behind. They insisted that the photo opportunity was to be a women-only affair. Luckily or unluckily, the clouds had other ideas. Just when the setup was ready, the heavens opened up, leaving the female lawmakers scrambling for this, leaving the female lawmakers scrambling for shelter, and the entire set flooded. This one. Kenya regarded as a development fulcrum in the larger East African region. A visit by President Samia Suluhu to Parliament technically rubber stamping a development venture that the President says it will be a joint venture between Kenya and Tanzania. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Parliament Buildings, Nairobi. <laughs>